Hello and welcome back to Rift Wizard. So I admit I'm I'm not good at this game. That's probably why you haven't uh, why we haven't gotten a series of it yet. And now I do enjoy improving at a game, but sometimes the growing pains of learning learning the ropes um, can be can be painful. They they can be. So, um, yeah, I don't know. And also, like, you know, doing things a little bit blind. I haven't really looked up any guides for this yet. And I don't know if I want to, necessarily. I don't, I don't know if I necessarily am doing anything super wrong. I think it's... I think my macro game is fine. I think my micro game could use some work. I think that's why we're dying, because I'm too focused on, like, our build structure and stuff like that. And I'm not paying super close attention to, like, what's going on around me. So, uh, we'll, we'll work on that, maybe. So we got Conjuration spells, Nature spells. We could go with Nature spells. Could go with, like, uh, Nature Wolf. Wolf is a nice Nature spell. Or, like, Poison Sting. We get 20 Poison Stings. I kind of want to go Wolf. Wolf is another uh, of those summoning spells that doesn't disappear right away. So it's kind of nice. Let's uh, let's go ahead and throw in a wolf. We'll throw in a couple wolves and hope that the the wolf is smart enough to go and hit the hit the the back gate. Robin, we have to get to the the back gate. That's a it's a good joke for you. I, I hope you enjoyed that joke. Did you enjoy that joke? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> All right, nature spell part two. Um, I kind of want to just take poison. How can we improve wolf? Oh, we could Im improve it by giving it pounce. Extra minion damage. Bloodhound. What is blood? Oh, wow. We can make it really wolf pack. I didn't realize how much you can improve the spells. It's wild to me that not only are there like a bazillion uh, spells, but like, you know, there's a ton of spell synergies in this game. And then there's also um, spell like upgrades. That's wild to me. Like how how did how did the dev develop this game? Like that's insane. Each living ally attacks a random enemy unit in melee range. The unit deals 14 or the attack deals 14 damage and inflicts two turns of stun. Interesting. I don't know if it's particularly useful to us right now. You know what I think what I'd like to do? All allied units gain a stacking six uh, damage bonus to their fire and physical abilities. Um, that wouldn't be bad. That would mean we would gain a bit more damage on our wolves. I'd like to take more early spells. Um, every three turns inflict berserk on a random enemy unit in line of sight for two turns. I'm not sure what Berserk does. Does that mean it, they start attacking, like, people near them? Toxic Spores, Mushbooms, have a ranged attack dealing... Oh, summon two Mushbooms. Dealing poison damage. Oh, that could be fun. We could take that. And we could take Toxic s Burst. And we could take um, Poison Sting and we'll get our, our own back for dying to poison in the last round. Could be good. All right, let's let's uh, let's summon a wolf. Like right next to that gate. Yo, is this Bat King? Some oh, they're summoning Bat Gates. Oh, that's not good. Let's, uh, let's see if we can't do something about that. And then we'll Poison Sting them as well. That, uh, the range on that poison sting is insane. Deal 9 physical damage to target units. That unit is poisoned for 30 turns. They should be, they should be, like, getting severely damaged very soon. I'm assuming I can accidentally poison myself if I'm not super careful. Also, I assume that, um, g gates can't be poisoned. So I'm gonna have to do poison sting to the gate. Let's do a burst on these guys without hurting myself, please. That'd be good. And I'm gonna I'm gonna move with style and grace. Sir Wolf dead. 
This Bat King will die, but unfortunately they're probably gonna get to summon some more gates before they do so. We're gonna go ahead and do another Poison Burst. Uh, again, without hurting ourselves, that would be nice. Okay, Bat King is dead. We need another wolf. Another couple of wolves, I think. To help. Help me, wolves. Help me. Um, we could do toxic spores. I don't know. This might not be a good idea. I don't know if they can hurt me. They can't. They do burst when they die, so that's not great. Okay, one wolf is attacking a gate. This is good. Uh, we're going to do another toxic burst. This is the nice thing about taking um, level 1 spells, a lot of level 1 spells, is that you can kind of use them very liberally. Um, see, this is this is not what you want to see. But that's okay. Like I say, we can, we can use some spells. We're going to go ahead and, and summon another wolf. And why not? Let's summon some uh, toxic spores. Wouldn't mind um, maybe... I know there's a skill that improves how much damage poison does to the enemy. So we might go ahead and do something like that. All right, all right, that was that was okay. Could have could have been a bit better, but uh, you know what? We we didn't take too much damage. We have plenty of spells left. Bag of spikes. Summon friendly somethings. Eight friendly rolling spike balls. I don't know about that one. We could go back to nature circle. Let's take a skill on nature skill. Uh, whenever you enter a new level, summon a face stone. It has 120 HP and is stationary. When you whenever you cast a nature spell, the face stone heals for 10 HP. Whenever you cast an arcane spell, the face stone teleports near the target and gains one shield. I don't know. I don't know if that's helpful. Your living minions gain 75 ice resist. Your living minions freeze for three turns upon taking ice damage. Your living minions heal for 15 HP each turn while frozen. Ah. Uh, poison enemies take four additional poison damage each turn. Yes. We're doing a lot of poison damage. So that seems to me like a good good move. Fire or arcane spells with reveal rede redeals all damage dealt by this spell or minions. It's su it summons to arcane, dark, or fire units as holy damage. Uh, an enchantment circle could be kind of fun, but we are going to be fighting gray mushrooms, and I have to assume they are pretty resistant to poison. That being said, we do have wolves. Well, yeah, hard to hard pressed to be resistant to wolves, you know. I know that that you can be resistant to wolves, so don't 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 worry about telling me about that. Still, I think I prefer this to the others. This is going to be a rather uh, brutal, resistant to poison. And what the the mantises are they resistant to poison? No, just the mantis gate. Interesting. It's bizarre to me that the mantises are not resistant. Um, but the gray mushrooms, as I as I called it, are resistant. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump right on the en um, enchantment gate. We don't have any skill points, so I don't know why I did that, but that's okay. It was a good place to go anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and, and just do some damage. And uh, since we, well, never mind. We're gonna we're gonna try and get to this gate as quickly as possible. We'll throw down a wolf. We could throw down um, some toxic spores as well. We'll, we'll, we'll poison all the, the mantises. Look at that. They, they die really nicely to, uh, to poison. But the mush booms, they're, they're, that's going to be an entirely different problem to solve. Since I do primarily um, poison damage, uh, doing any damage to to, to them is going to be difficult. Bag of spikes, how does one... Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. So we summon some spike balls. Um, why did why do you get to summon through the wall there exactly there, buddy? Let's just um. I guess I couldn't. I could have maybe just thrown a threw a sting in there and do a toxic um burst. Okay. 
Can we reach it from here? Poison sting? Yes, we can. It's resistant um, to the poison, but it's not resistant to the actual damage. So that's fine. Um, the problem is, is we have a lot of things to kill here. I'm probably going to have to use a lot of poison stings. Does poison sting do burst? Unit takes one poison damage each turn. That unit is poisoned for 30 turns. But like I say, these these guys are resistant. There, there's only these guys though. There's no there's no gate as far as I know for the mush booms, which is good. Um, so we're just gonna have to. Well, you know what? We could summon a couple more wolves. Might be a good idea. What are the wolves weak to? Because they're dying pretty readily to the uh, mantises. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and throw a toxic burst. These things are resistant to poison, so they're they're not gonna take any damage. But we can. I, I guess that was a waste, actually, when I think about it. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna roll around. I see the spike balls, they just kind of like roll through enemies and deal damage. They're actually like shoving the gate around, which is fine. That's that's pretty good, actually. Um, so we have three skill points. I definitely want to uh, check out our enchantment circle. So what kind of enchantment spells could we get? Um, Watcher form, Restless Dead. Whenever a living enemy dies, raise it as a skeleton. Raised skeletons have max HP equal to that of the slain enemy or unit and deal five physical damage in melee. Uh, I don't know. Sight of blood. Must target a damaged living unit. A target is stunned for four turns. Stunned units cannot act. All living units in line of sight of the target go berserk for four turns. Interesting. Berserk units are hostile to other units. They will attack and be attacked by their allies. This seems like a really good s skill or spell. Um, essence flux. Swap the polarity of the resistances of a group of units. Poison resistance is swapped with arcane. Good. Nice to know that I actually see like the rock, paper, scissors of things. So apparently poison and arcane are on, on the polar ends of each other. Did not know that. Mystic vision. All other spells gain five range. Um, affect the target with Mercurize. Mercurize. Target takes two poison and two physical damage each turn for six turns. If the target dies while well, cursed, it is raised as a Quicksilver Geist. Our flying undead metallic units with many resistances and immunities. Has max HP equal to the cursed unit and a trample. Okay, you know what? This sounds really good. Let's take this. And can we take one more enchantment? Freeze? Hollow Flesh. Curse a group of units with the essence of undead. Affected units become undead and lose living. Affected units lose. This doesn't sound good for me because um, living units is, are, you know, more uh, affected by poison. Enemy units within four tile radius of the magnetized units are pulled one towards it. Afterwards, adjacent enemy units are stunned. Uh... Petrify regeneration. Each turn for eight turns, all allied units in ten tiles radius are healed for four HP. I wouldn't mind. Can we get a skill? Are there any like really cheap enchantment skills? Probably not, right? Nope. I I, I think I already knew that. You know what? Um, what we should do is we should go to our Mercurize and what is this? Mercurized targets also take dark damage. Corrosion. Mercurized targets lose 25 physical resists. That would be really good, actually, because um, they would be more... Uh, they, they would be weak to our, our wolves, specifically. Mercurize... Oh, no, that's duration. Targets also take dark damage. I don't know. I Honestly, I think I should save my skill points, if I'm being honest. If I'm being honest. Word circle. Word spells, spell upgrades, and passive skills. What are word spells? I don't think I know about word spells. Word of beauty. Heal yourself and all living units fully. Deal 25 lightning damage to demon and undead unit. Well, this is these are these are new. I did not know about these. 
word sounds cool. Um, the, the problem is, is they also sound very expensive. There's seven, there's seven skill points each. So I cannot afford that. Um, even at a discount. So I think the other one, Ice Circle, we could try some Ice Circle. Uh, unfortunately, Ice Circle is going to be Mushbooms, Toads, Mushbooms, Werewolves. That sounds really, really nasty for us. The other one is also Toxic Spriggans. So they're probably going to be uh, very resistant to our poison. So a lot of, a lot of um, pickups on this one, though. Sure. Even though the word circle is not going to be useful to us, let's go here because we could possibly make use of the other ones. Are Spriggans also poison resist? No. But the toxic Spriggans are for sure. Okay. Let's, um, are these, uh, the, apparently gates are resistant to poison. All, just all of them are resistant to poison. This is good to know. Okay, we're gonna summon in and we're gonna summon a wolf mm -hmm. and we're gonna start hitting things <clears throat> near us. Uh, I would prefer not to start taking damage from that Spriggan, so I'm going to move away from it. And we're gonna start hitting, throwing our our, our toxic burst out. Cause look at, look at all that, look at all of that that we're doing damage to. Um, now the thing is we could mercurize this guy. He's about to die, see? Uh, but he only has nine HP. So you, you kind of, you do want to use mercurize on something um, specific. That being said, I think I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, I, apparently I don't get it. I thought I would get it, but it's because it's not dead yet. That's uh, kind of a bummer being honest all right so the wolf died let's do another toxic burst <coughs> this thing needs to die um so we're gonna have to throw out a poison sting directly at it uh we're out of poison stings actually all right so we're gonna we're gonna throw out another wolf we're gonna back up a bit are we poisoned no Fortunately, we are not poisoned. Um, this the Spriggans are really nasty for us because we can't actually hurt them directly. I think we're going to have to take a mana potion. I don't think there's any getting around it. Do these guys have any physical damage? Inflict 12 turns of poison. Um, I don't think that there's anything we can do against these toxic Spriggans. So the only defense we have is the poison sting, which we don't have. So mm -hmm. we're gonna we're gonna have to, you know, take a moment here and uh, poison sting this guy. And unfortunately, it's gonna take two turns to kill him. We might die. We're gonna we're gonna have to mm -hmm. use our healing potion. Let's use a healing burst, or sorry, toxic burst. That will get rid of basically everything. These, uh, these, this sucks. We have three health left. We are going to die for sure. I'm going to teleport out of there. And I'm going to summon a bunch of wolves and hope that we can still make it through this. Why not? We'll also summon in some uh, toxic spores. And we'll just uh, see what happens. Actually, you know what? We can assist a little bit because this burst will go ahead and uh, work. It still works on the Spriggans and we can we can cast it through walls. So the wolves did not do it. We're, we're still going to need to cast some more wolves, more spores. Those toxic Spriggans are a real pain in the butt. And this, the, even the normal Spriggans are a pain. They're like chewing through our wolves like nobody's business. We're using so many spells just to get through these Spriggans. My god, okay. We're out of wolves. Uh, 
I'm hoping that like the the spores, the, the mush booms will like um, be able to kind of chew through the spriggans enough that the wolves can get through to the gates. But like, man, this is this is not going well. I could throw out a couple of these. That's a lot of damage we just did to those spriggans. So it's, we're out of bursts now. Can we do a mercurize? No. Okay, I'm gonna mercurize my wolf if I can. I don't. Uh, I don't think I can reach him. Shoot. And he died, of course. I was hoping if I could at least mercurize my own animal, then I could turn it into a geist. So we're gonna do that now, and it did turn it into a geist. The geist is fortunate. Well, never mind. The geist is dead now. Um. All right. No, no, no. The geist is okay. Uh, the geist is resistant to a lot of things. Um. So they're probably not gonna take any damage, and they do quite a lot of damage themselves. So the geist is actually gonna be pretty good. I should have been making more geists. That's where I went wrong. So that was a nightmare, but we made it made th made it through. I, I made it. Um, teleporter is gonna come in handy. We can't make use of this word, correct? This word circle. Yeah, these are six. We have four, but it's not enough. If only we could go back to previous levels, that would be kind of neat. Um, ooh, enhance a spell with plus 10, 10 minion health. Limit one shrine per spell. Elixir of youth, that's interesting. Fae shrine, enhances nature or arcane conjuration spell with summoned minions gain a healing spell and passive short range teleportation. The healing spell heals two plus the spell's level HP and has a four tile range. Interesting helpful i don't know that is interesting it might be good for toxic spores because toxic spores might actually have something else to do unfortunately and this seems to happen a lot um we're up against ghosts and mushrooms exactly my arch nemesis like both of those are highly resistant to everything i do uh, and then the other one is golems and ghosts i have a funny feeling that the golems are not going to buy my act either so I'm not sure. No, neither of these sound very enticing. We're gonna have to use our only healing potion. Also. Mm -hmm. um, at least there's a mana potion in this direction. The other one has not much. Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and, and head, head to this rift and uh, we will be able to make use of that shrine, but man, does this look like a nightmare. I honestly think that we should at least have a look at the other one. This one, uh, this doesn't seem as bad if I'm being truthful. Um, yeah, are these guys immune? These are completely resistant to poison, so that's a problem. Um, Mercurize only does poison damage. We only do poison damage. That's why you don't put all of your, like, all your chips on one type of damage. I think we're not gonna make it. I think this is not gonna work for us. Um, Wolf has 11 HP. You know what? Let's let's go here, and we're gonna use our wolf. And um, I'm gonna actually right now go ahead and hit our wolf with an upgrade. Summon wolves gain leap attack, more damage. Bloodhound. Uh, wolves can be upgraded with only one hound upgrade. Interesting. Summon bloodhounds instead of wolves. Um, tempting. Oh, I see. So they can only they can only become blood, ice, or clay hounds. That's it. Uh, but I can probably give them pounce and other things. I could uh, upgrade their health. Probably I want to upgrade their damage. I don't know. Let's turn them into bloodhounds. Why not? Just just for fun. And we're gonna take a mana potion. And we are 
Are these bloodhounds? They don't look like bloodhounds. I guess they are. We're gonna summon some uh, bloodhounds. Yeah, they're, they're super bloodhounds. They only have 11 HP. I thought that's how much they had before. Yo, I thought that that was how much they had before though. So I'm a little bit wondering what's going on there. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to use Mercurize. I was hoping that they would have more HP. I should have just increased their HP. So this this guy has four HP. So we're going to use Mercurize on that hound to create a Geist. And basically anytime a wolf is about to die, we're going to go ahead and Mercurize them. Five HP. And then three HP, we're going to Mercurize them. And this guy is almost dead, so we're going to Mercurize him. Giant Gray Mushroom. This guy has 680, sorry, 8. 66 health normally. They are super resistant to poison. So that is a problem. So we're going to we're going to need to back up. What does this guy do? He's just undead. He's just a very happy fellow. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use our teleporter, and we're going to summon some more wolves. And hope that our geists do some damage. Ten. And I mean, the most I can do is, like, hit a ghost with our poison sting, but I don't think that that actually will do anything. We're going to mercurize this guy. This is really not going well. <laughs> so this guy is almost dead, so we're gonna go ahead and mercurize them. We are almost dead. I should have teleported near a portal and then used a portal key. We have gnomes and ogres and gnomes and more gnomes. Well, well, how about this? Change the destination of all portals in the current level. That didn't, that didn't actually help at all. Create a new unlocked rift at a random location. Do it. Oh my God, it's right there. Oh, but it's, it's totally locked. There's the unlocked over there, the unlocked rift over there. So we're gonna die in it right now for sure. Um, you know, it's been it's been a pleasure. I, I did I did last a little bit longer technically, but uh, yeah, uh, you know, constantly being forced between a bad choice and a worse choice is definitely going to you know end me up in a situation like this where I die. But anyway, maybe um, you could see what I should have been doing differently. Maybe I shouldn't have doubled down on nature spells. Maybe maybe I should have taken different stuff. You know, uh, basically uh, gone for a little bit of variety. You know, who knows? You let me know in the comments. How about that? And maybe you could see fit to hitting this video with a like and a subscribe if you're new to my channel. Who knows? And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching.